to make this very easy ruana or shawl, I used the moss stitch, also known as the linen stitch, and I started out with a foundation chain, and then every row after that is worked in the moss stitch. So I just did a variety of colors just on one side, and then I finished the rest with main color. And so it's just row after row of moss stitch. So let's get started. And to make this show, you're going to work with a chunky yarn. So you can either use Bernat Chunky, and that's this strand here, or you can use two strands of worsted weight yarn. I'm going to use the two strands of worsted weight yarn. So I have my two strands of worsted weight yarn and my nine millimeter crochet hook, and I'm going to start with a slip knot. And you're going to chain the required number of stitches so that you have the number needed to crochet the size you are making. And you're going to be making a long scarf that has to reach from the front all around your shoulders and to the back. And I have a chart that gives you the right number, and you'll also find this written pattern on my blog. So once you have your foundation chain the correct length, you're going to single crochet in the third stitch from the hook. So one, two, three. Single crochet in the third stitch from the hook. Chain one. Skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next. You're going to repeat that all the way across the row. Chain one. Skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next. Chain one skip single crochet. So you're going to work all the way across your row. So chain one, skip single crochet. No. Chain one, skip single crochet. When you get to the end of the row, if you only have one stitch left and you want to add one additional stitch, remove your hook from that stitch, insert it into that last stitch, and with the yarn end, just add one more stitch. So now I can chain one and work into that stitch. Make one more single crochet. And that's how that will work. And there's my foundation chain and there's my first row of single crochet like that. And in mine I added a black row next so I'll show you how to add a new color. Okay to start a new color you're simply going to pull that yarn into that stitch and then I just lock it in with both the yarn end and the yarn with one chain stitch. So that will count as one. And I will chain two more, one, two, and I'll turn. And then find the first chain one space, which is right here. And you're going to single crochet. And that chain three took the place of a single crochet and a chain one space. So now you will chain one. Find the next chain one space, single crochet. single crochet in the next chain one space. Chain one, single crochet in the next chain one space. Like that. So there's my foundation row, and there's my first row, and then there's my row of black. So that would look like that. So now I'm going to move back to my main color, and I'm going to do four rows. One row brown, one row main color, one row black, one row main color, one row brown, and then the remainder of my long rectangle done in the main color. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And when you're finished your rectangle, optional, you can add a fringe. If you want to add a fringe, you cut your yarn 11 inches long and attach it all along the bottom of your ruana with a lark's head knot. To make a lark's head knot, insert your hook into the stitch, pick up the folded end of the yarn, pull it through the stitch, and then grab the ends and pull them through that loop, and then just tighten it up like that. 